Hey there guys, this is Shadsaw Snarven here, back for another part of Crash Bandicoot 2. Today we're going to take on Piston It Away, another level with another infamous box gem. Now, sorry for like the long wait for this part, but to tell you the truth, really haven't had a lot of time on my hands for stuff like this. But we're back now. So this level takes place in a space like station and it has awesome music and some wacky enemies we ain't jumping on those anytime soon also got pistons yeah you gotta like take into account what attacks to use on what enemies So I've not got many more videos to go down until I've completed this game. So it's nearly over. Okay, this bit's kind of tricky. You gotta go underneath there and jump on that enemy. Ah, now those ones, they've like put their arms up so you can't jump on them, but you can spin into them. And now these ones alternate. Personally, I prefer spinning them because that's easier. Okay. You can slide into these. On its, on its own, this level isn't too hard, but it's getting the box gem that can be a bit of trouble. Okay, now this is where the box gem can be considered a bit difficult, because over here, there's the death route, but we don't want to go on it just yet. Now you see that enemy there, we want to leave him, you'll see why in a minute. Now careful with those buttons, because if you stand on them too long, fires a blast at you which shrinks you. So caution is advised. Careful. Oh goody, lab assistants. We're gonna have some fun hearing them scream. <laughs> oh, always gonna be funny. Okay. That one's a bit more difficult, but three, two, one. Yeah! Bit off timing there, but <laughs> okay. Twenty-two boxes. Now we have to go back. Yeah, you have to go there to get the rest of the boxes in the level, but the rest of them are in the death route, so that's why we have to backtrack. And one thing I actually didn't know before was you can actually spin those blasts. Okay, now the bonus stage utilizes those piston platforms. Now, in order to like get through it, you don't want to go recklessly smashing the boxes. Like you do have to take some care and thinking. Like to get back over the nitros. If you smash the boxes, it'll be harder. Use that bouncy crate to jump over it. Much more effective, eh? I mean, come on, you didn't want to risk crash blowing up. I mean, I've got an Aku, but, you know, better safe than sorry, eh? The bonus stages in these levels are kind of tricky. The spaced out one's worse, though. And at the end, got a difficult jump to make. 
Actually, I only just made it. But we're nearly there now. Now, the reason why we wanted to leave that enemy was because the only way to get back up there is to jump on him. Ready? Three, two, one, go! See? Tricky, eh? Does require some careful thinking, but if done properly, then you can get the gem. It can be done. Now this death route can be a little bit challenging at times. Ooh, go through the screen area. Another lava system. <laughs> God, I got so much fun killing those guys. Whoa, gotta be careful there with the nitros. Alright, checkpoint, there we go. Now it's just a case of getting to the end. Now this bit's really tricky. Gotta make a very careful manoeuvre here. Otherwise it can end up with Crash getting blasted. I'll get over here. Nearly there now. Alright, there we go, just smash the detonator and... There we go! One of the most troubling box gems in the game. Ah. Just got it. Okay. So it's one of those levels where you can really get both gems in one run. Drawing ever closer. Still got time for another level, so why not let's do Pack Attack. Now judging by the title, it seems pretty obvious what this level is about. Yep, it's another jetpack level. Slightly harder than Rocket. Yeah, again, the controls are a bit tougher to get used to. Seems harder on a keyboard. It requires careful movements if you want to get boxes. Those cables can be still annoying. There's really not much to say about this level that I haven't already said in Rocket. Oops, that was just me being stupid. Ooh, yay, another lab assistant. Oh, come on, he didn't even make the scream. What a rip. Alright, next lab assistant, I'm gonna substitute his scream. Here. There we go. Now one thing about this level is it often likes to combine the hazards, like the laser blasters and the cables, for example. And like two of those laser blasters together. Alright, another lab assistant. Ready to die? Yeah! <laughs> That's awesome. Always will be. Those spinning bombs I kind of have trouble with. Oh Christ. 
bombs and the lab assistant. Gonna have really good timing to get through this. Bastard. Oh well, let's continue ahead. Less space to maneuver with the nitros. Okay, I'm nearly at the end now, I can see the light. Oh great, more combined hazards. On. Bastard! Now I've gotta do that all over again. It's still definitely harder than Rocket. Still not too hard if you know what you're doing. Shall I really make this guy scream? Okay, one more. Yeah! Yeah, I'm just determined to get this level over with now. Not that I don't like the level, I do like it, but, you know, don't want this video to be too long, do we? There we go. Just throw away the jetpack. Shame to have to say goodbye to it, really. But oh well, we got the jam. And we're well on our way to 100% completing the game now. Only got two more levels to go. Once again, watch Crash do the awesome dance. Okay, so spaced out and night fight over the last two levels. Which one will I do first? Probably night fight. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for the next part of the Crash Bandicoot 2 walkthrough.